welcome back everybody so now that we have a hospital in place I can add a, a few more dangerous things over here then in case people get hurt they can end up in the hospital so I can get the money for them at the uh, going to the attraction and then get money from them when they go into the hospital <laughs> I wouldn't do something like that would I I got to thinking what would be a good thing or attraction to put through here and I believe a uh, shooting range like you got bows and crossbows and you can stand here and shoot at targets uh, at that end so I've done a little bit of work off camera to plan this out because it involves redstone if it's just uh, targets, that'd be no problem. But I, I, of course, had to add redstone into the equation, so that makes it uh, a bit more challenging. So let me let's see one, two, three, four. So the redstone is all going to be behind this line. I may have to move all these chests. We'll see. I figure this end is where you're going to be shooting from. So probably put a little platform here. Over here, this would be your shooting line. Let's move those out. I'll figure that out. And then these will be the targets. So I think I'll add in my targets first and then we'll just uh, that's simple this is going to be like dirt and pass some uh, protective wall here by fencing I think we'll get started I've got so the front is going to look like this because we'll be standing at this level and we'll be shooting at targets right above these stairs. I want it to be in. I don't want it to be at the very end. So I want the targets going to be here. So I have, well, I have five of them. So I got a handful of targets. I may need to add more. And I'm using the actual target block from Minecraft. That is uh, like hay and redstone I believe I'll take a look I think I've got it yeah so it's hay and redstone dirt and you get a target block I may need more than five I haven't figured that out yet so I want to put them like that I will definitely have to move those so we will And of course, I'm. I would be one short, wouldn't I? So behind the target block, I'm going to have. Uh, must be. It's going to be at the same level. Same level. I've got this down a little farther so I can uh, weasel my redstone in because it's a little more complicated. I can, you know, you set up one and once you get behind them, there's only one block in between here. So the redstone, redstone cross connects a lot. So that, that's where the challenge in this one was. So it was a little bit of work and created to figure out how to get them connected or get them working without interfering with each other. Now, the redstone you're going to see is probably not the most efficient or even the easiest. It's just what I came up with. So if you have, I'm sure there are, I'm positive, there are much better ways to do all of this. And if, you know, and if you want to uh, point those out uh, make a video with the tutorial and post it on the web so people can look at it 
And I'll even look at it. So we have this. I've got, let me look at my diagram here. So behind all of these, will be a torch. And the reason for that is on top of all these targets is going to be this. So we're going to make a little wall like that. And then when you shoot the target, I'm going to have a little thing that pops up and down so you can actually see, um, get a, like a visual cue or see the target, see something change whenever you shoot the target. So that is the, uh, that's the goal. Should be pretty, it should be pretty simple, but I'm probably going to make a number of mistakes. I have, don't even have close to the number of repeaters I want. There are a lot of repeaters in here. Um, I'm positive I could do better with like observers and all that kind of fancy stuff but I've never promised and never admitted and never even hinted that I know anything but the most basic redstone. So so what's going to go on is there's going to be a target on top there and when you hit it that will disappear. So that'll give you the nice the look you'll the look I'm looking for. And then under here, is that right? No, that's not right. So like for this one, I've got to raise it up a little bit. And that's how I'm getting the redstone back and forth is lowering and raising the level of where the um, the redstone goes. It's like on this one. I'm gonna, I got this torch. So I'm just going to need, when I hit the button, signal's going to have to go through here and shut the torch off, which will lower that down so you can get a visual representation of what's going on. Is that right? Oh no. I want a little bit of a delay through here. I actually don't need that one. It's overkill. So we'll see. Um, do I have a button? I guess I could shoot it with a bow and arrow, but I think a a button would work because then I don't have to clean up after myself. Oops, and I don't, you know, oh, there we go. So let's say I've got black wool there and a light here. So when you're standing here, you shoot the arrow, it hits the bullseye, pulls that down for a little bit, and then pops back up. So you get a visual representation of, I did something good. And then it does the same thing if you shoot it. This is why I didn't want to use the... <laughs> Didn't want to use the arrow because I got flaming arrows on my bow. Yeah, I like the and then I like the movement of that where the black goes. It'll look even better once I get the wall up here. So that would be the first one. Now the second one, I need to actually take this signal and pop it down here. And it will run back the same way. Now I can run redstone here it's not going to connect because of these repeaters and then I can use the repeaters same way I did back here 
and then I just need to pop it up there like that there put another one of those there another one of those there let's see if I did this right And nope, I didn't. I had a feeling something was wrong. Um, I've got a feedback loop right there. So what happens is this powers this block, which powers that. And if it's connected with redstone, it goes all the way back around and stays on indefinitely. What I want it to do is stay on for just a little bit. Not too long, but just enough so you see it and then goes away. Um, I did actually come up and creative with the way of actually getting these so they drop down and the lights stay on. Except it required, the way I did it, it required like four blocks or four, four block white. So I had to put them, I could put them every other one. And that's not the aesthetic I was going for. I want them every other one. I'd rather have them all side by side, but I can get away with every other one. If, but the redstone I came up with to drop it so it doesn't come back up um, required like one here and then the other one would have to be like there. So I could only get maybe like four out of here and they'd be so far apart. What I'm hoping for is you could go through here and do a speed test and kind of go like this and shoot. And I think this is far enough away. I'm not looking for long distance. I don't want people, you know, people shouldn't be standing over here and shooting all the way over that way. So that's the first two. So all I need to do now is add in the rest of it. You've got a good idea of what that looks like. Pretty straightforward signal. I'm just using, and actually I popped these repeaters up. I didn't do that. I, so what's going on here is I want, well, as soon as I hit it, I want the signal to immediately go over there and shut it down. And then this signal is taking a lot longer to go away because of the repeaters, because I've got them on delays. I don't want to delay on these two because I want it to go immediately over there. So I want it to immediately go down, then take its sweet time coming back up. And I think that's what we got. Yeah, so you get just enough time to know that, yes, you made it. So I guess I will work on the rest of uh, the redstone. You don't need to see me placing anymore because the next one will be basically a replication of this one. A little higher, with a little more tweaks so I can don't cross-contaminate the, uh, the one beside it because I don't want to shoot one and have two of them going off. So it's gonna to have to be something around here. I'll have to figure that out. Plus I should probably should get some sleep. Now that I've got all the redstone in and I've tested it so it actually works. Just need to put in the walls. We're just going to block up all of this. Let's see. Let's just go on top of this wall here. So behind and around, I want uh, dark. So when you go through, you're going to, only going to see black. Um, let's just, I'll remove the uh, wool later. I don't, don't really need it. Because right now, when you peek through the hole, you're going to see sky above these lights. So I kind of want the lights all enclosed in wool. 
Actually, I think I need... There we go. Get in the front. Let's put it all in there. So I think that'll work. I'm actually going to... I'm just going to do this whole thing. I've got plenty of wool, so... So that'll all be black. Just continue the fence through here. Uh, for the roof, um, what am I doing for the roof? I don't know yet. Let's see, we're going to we're going to push this all the way out like this because I don't really care what it looks like from this side. This will all be wall. Do I even need? I don't even think I need a uh, access point back here because it works. So we're just going to seal this whole sucker in. Straight walls on the sides. Do something like that. No, what did I do on the other side? I went all the way up like that. Um, let's do that. That's looking good. And then on this side, yeah, up. Let's do that. There. And then on the roof, I think I'm just going to put uh, slabs on the roof. It's going to be a very kind of squarish. Along the sides, we will put in safety rail, like that. Oh, and then I need to finish up uh, with the dirt. Well, I have normal dirt through here. Actually, I'm going to have grass through here. And the shooting lanes are all going to be uh, either coarse dirt or path. Um, so let me finish this up. I need to go get some more actual uh, grass blocks so the grass will grow through here. Need to get some more black wool. Need to get some more fencing. And put the roof on there and then I'll be back and we can just kind of wrap it up and I can show you uh, the finished product. So I need to put a couple barrels in here with uh, weapons and that kind of thing. Well, I am all done. I've got the walls and everything around my target. Got the uh, shooting range all laid out. Nice and neat. Just got a little bit more grass to grow. Probably should turn that into path. And I've got all my chests and stuff. So for the front end here, I just made this uh, little wall. We have all these... Uh, chest full of arrows and bows. I even got some crossbows. A couple on the wall. Some there. Fletching table which doesn't do anything. Maybe someday. Someday it may actually do something. But you can come here and you can shoot the uh, targets if you want to kind of go for a speed run. That's not bad. I like the way that just pops open and pops closed.
And all I did on the front here, I put a trap doors through there. I was going to put them down here, but um, if you do, they go open and close because of these uh, targets. So I just went with stairs. It still gives it a little bit of thickness. It's more of a, I don't know, almost a western vibe here. Kind of okay corral-ish. I did uh, do a little tweaking on the side here. This was too flat, so I just stuck in some random stairs I had. Overall, uh, not bad. Got my redstone working, but I'd uh, fought with all that in creative way before I got here, so... I can't see if I got them down there. And the only thing I could do if I wanted to make it really entertaining is put a rail here and you would uh, shoot them as you go through the railing on your mine cart. Or maybe that could be a different attraction. I'll have to think about that. That's, a, that's another idea too. But that wraps things up as the moon is rising and the sun has set on another day here in Minecraft. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed and please have a wonderful day and I'll see you all later. Bye bye.